My name is Lee Davis. I am a curator here at Kew Gardens. I look after Kew's scientific collections of fungi. And today I'm going to show you where to look and how to spot fungi. So most fungi live in the soil or inside rotting wood and they need it to be damp and moist, which is why autumn, when it's been raining and it's a lot cooler, is the perfect time for them to be emerging and fruiting. And so it's a really good time to go out and find them. The vast majority of fungi are perfectly safe, but there are some that can be very poisonous or make you unwell. And it's always best to leave them in place so that other people can come and look at them and enjoy them. So the best thing to do when you're looking for fungi is keep your eyes down because most of the mushrooms will be growing on the ground or on the lower parts of trees. And it'll be difficult at first, but once you get your eye in, you'll start seeing them everywhere. In parks and gardens where you find wood chip underneath trees or compost heaps, you'll find lots of fungi which specialise in breaking down organic matter. So we call those saprotrophic fungi. Um, and there's some nice examples here of some nice large ones. So these are a parasol or a shaggy parasol fungus. Um, and these specialise in breaking down all this wood and making the nutrients available for plants to eat. Um, and these are the sorts of fungi, these saprophytic fungi, are really common and really easy to find if you're in a park or in a garden and the compost heap at home um, or on leaf litter and mulch and what have you in a, in a forest or a woodland. So any wood chip and mulch is really good because there'll be lots of little wood rotting fungi. And leaf litter's good, but you might have to get close down because they can be the same colour as the leaf litter, so you won't spot them. So you have to root around in there. So this is a, a group of another type of saprophytic fungus um, and they're breaking down the, the mulch and the leaves that are falling off this tree. So the mushroom that we can see here above ground, this only represents a small part of the whole fungus as an organism. The vast majority of the actual fungus itself will be underground, um, feeding and growing and preparing throughout the year to produce the reproductive parts that we see during autumn. <gasps> Um, so, not all fungi that you'll find on wood chip and compost look like a mushroom. There are lots and lots of different shapes and sizes that fungi come in. And for instance, this one is called a bird's nest fungus and they form little cups with what look like little eggs in the bottom, like a bird's nest. And you'll find these particularly growing on wood chip. Um, they can be very, very small and some of them grow up to a centimetre in diameter. So one easy group of fungi to find, whether you're in a city or in the countryside, are bracket fungi. So these are wood rotting specialists. They can do it on dead trees, but in the case of this oak, it's being eaten while it's still alive. They can be a few inches across, or in the cases of this one, they could be well over a foot in diameter. And these are really nice because they produce billions and billions of spores. And on this one, you can see this brown cocoa-like powder. And those are the spores that the bracket's releasing from the underneath here. And those spores will drift on the wind, they will land, they will germinate, and go on to start eating more trees and more wood. So the other really important ecological group of fungi are mycorrhizal fungi. So these sorts of fungi, like these ones around me, these are in a symbiotic relationship with the pine tree behind me. The fungus is feeding nutrients in the soil and water to the pine tree, and in return, the pine tree is producing sugars and feeding those to the fungus. So unlike the other mushrooms we've seen, which have gills that produce the spores, these fungi, they have pores. And so the, the spores drop out of these little tubes. Du, 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 du. If you happen to live near a forest or a woodland or parks with big trees and rotting wood, you might find a lot of fungi that specialise in eating the tough woody parts of trees. So things like this down here, this is a sulphur tuft, and these wood rotting fungi have evolved to break down the toughest lignin, which is the, the tough part of a tree. Um, and they specialise in doing this. Uh, some of these wood rotting fungi can look very much like a normal mushroom, but you can also find small puffballs that uh, live like this, and everything up to big bracket fungi that can be two feet across. If you're out and about looking for fungi, not everything will be big and obvious to find. Um, if you get really close down and have a look at some rotting wood, for instance, um, you might find something like these. This is a little bright orange coral fungus. 
And if you can get hold of a magnifying glass to get a really good look, you'll see these little branching fingers of fiery looking fungus growing out of things like rotting wood. Some of the easiest fungi that you can find are lichens and you'll find these growing on tombstones in graveyards, on the sides of buildings and also on branches of trees like this. Yeah. <laughs> can you see me in here? So not all of the fungi that you'll find are brown or boring looking. Um, if you're in a grassland area and you see in fields, you might find some brightly coloured wax caps. Uh, some of the bracket fungi you might come across are, can be bright yellow and, or mottled brown colours. Um, or in this case, these are some purple bluets. They're growing underneath this tree, feeding on some of this mulch. So we've seen a lot of fungi today, particularly wood rotting and uh, saprophytic fungi. Those are some of the ones that you're going to find it much easier to find. Fungi are crucial to the global environment because they recycle all these plant materials and nutrients in the soils to make them available for other organisms. For humans, they play a crucial role in lots of the things that we find essential. Medicines, industrial compounds, everything from making cotton and leather and washing powder, right up to how we make plastics for things like Lego. If you want to keep up to date and watch more videos on fungi, hit subscribe. If you'd like to know more about our fungarium, hit this link. If you want to know more about why fungi matter, click this link to watch this animation.